Welcome to another special roundtable edition of Samsung Business Television. Today, talking about conference room technology and updating the things that you need to know about. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and talking. Could you please uh, give us an introduction? My name is Vivian G. I'm with um, Harman International. I'm the Director of Business Development. Hi, I'm Michael O'Halloran, and I'm Business Area Manager with Samsung Electronics America. So what, when we say conference space, what do we mean by conference space? Help define that. So it means people getting together to review things together, right? And you're starting to hear the, the trends uh, amongst my corporate customers that the big formal use of conference rooms of 15 people in for an hour if we're going to go and review things, that's going away. Mm -hmm. Like They don't find they're very productive. They, they find that they're always on everyone's calendars. Um, so with the, the change of the corporate environment, again, like breaking down the walls and going more open space, these conference rooms are, are areas where more impromptu, let's collect around the screen and review things. You grab the three people that you're actively engaged with on that project and you go and you do it together, similar to the way we're here, supplemented by some technology or devices to, to make it easier. But it's not, let's get your team, my team, our team, all 15 of us go, we've yeah. got the hour. Right, you know, those meetings are still relevant, but there's a trend to just being more functional and what needs to be done and making tools available in the environments to do it easier and faster. The concept of the conference room is evolving in terms of that it is now focusing on the user. I think in the early days, it is having the space where people can come and it's really not about how you want to use this space, how you as an end user to want to use the technology that's in this space to enable you to be more effective and productive. And I think, you know, the technologies now are in the marketplace to really enable that, be there having a physical space or some of the tools that Michael and I will touch upon today mm -hmm. to enable this workforce that is today to be more connected, be more productive and be more mobile on the go. Mm -hmm. So I think that is really the evolution of the conference room. How big, how small, what we talked about a little bit, like some, some breakout stuff, like what, are, what do we have there for like, let's, let's say like an eight person conference room. Six to eight person room, now we're capable of doing that with just large single screen LCD screens. You know, 85 inch, 98 inch. Uh, this is a video wall product, four panels together to make 110 inch. And then the sky's the limit with direct view LED. You know, we're looking at a video wall. You know, 10 years ago, this was probably a projector at that size. And so this is one of the advancements that, you know, technology has allowed us to turn the lights on in our conference rooms because using backlit bright LCD screen or LCD products, you no longer need to cut the shades and turn off the lights so that your projector has enough brightness off of the screen. Right. So it's changing the work environment from there. So what you see, you know, here in New York, you, the, the types of outdoor billboards that are all over Times Square running full video that looks so lifelike you can't believe it is now optimized for use indoor. Um, so high-end conference rooms, very premium presentation spaces, studios uh, are eliminating the bezel and going with a new uh, visual technology called Direct View LED. And we can make screens as big as you can imagine without a single bezel in them. That's incredible. And then when you add to the you know cutting edge display technology coming from Samsung mm -hmm. with Harman's pioneering audio systems, then you really have a space where you can have crisp sound and clear visibility of the presentations or the team members you're communicating on the other side of the room. So uh, what are we doing in the huddle spaces? Because that seems to, and I know that even in our own buildings, you can't sometimes get a conference room. It's very hard. So it's like, and we're not the only company that suffers from this. So sure. what are we doing for those smaller breakouts where it is just those like teams of two and three people? Samsung's focused on the technologies that get used in a conference room and how we connect in conference rooms. Um, and a lot of that is the collaboration solution you know, screen sharing, whiteboarding. Um, and we've just recently launched a new product called the Samsung Flip that is a purpose-built purpose -built device for collaboration in small spaces. It's a 55-inch touchscreen. So one of the strongest uh, needs around any of the collaboration or huddle spaces or meeting spaces is that the, the technology that's there works, works easily and, and quickly. You know, for every minute that's lost of, wait a second, which input? Yeah. Wait a second, hang on. <laughs> you know, like, every, does every anyone, did someone I've reset watched, yeah. the controller? Right. You, know, you know, the minutes are lost, you know, 10 minutes, eight minutes. And when you've got these crowds of people in there. So then when we're talking about the transition to small, you know, 
uh, open offices, being able to collect quickly, stumbling over technology while you go to do something in a short 30 minute meeting, right. you're gonna lose half your meeting making sure it works. Right. Yeah. Um, so we have a, a simple product that's called the Flip. Um, you could wirelessly connect your, your mobile device, your laptop. So from my device, it'll go to the screen. Uh, and then while it's on the screen, we can capture those images and make annotated notes on it and send the, our whiteboarding session out to each other as an email. Very simple. Very simple. You know, their initial impression is, yeah, I've seen a whiteboard before, you know, got it, check, I know what that is. But then, you know, step through the simple demo of how the phone appears on it with a couple of clicks mm -hmm. and how intuitive it is to use the pen and change colors and erase. And then it's like, oh, well, this is different. We've been working on this technology for years of, of how people connect in these spaces and what's needed to be functional to collaborate and take common notes. And it's, it's like refined to this very simple solution. What else are we doing? Where does Harman fit in all this? What Harman adds to the table is the services piece, the solutions piece, where if you have a customer that is selecting our premium products but need to work with multiple parties to bring a space to life, this is where Harman's expertise comes in. Mm -hmm. We bring the expertise in terms of systems integration. We work with local partners to make sure whatever products you need into your space is expertly selected, consulted, and recommended to you, down to the mobile application that you may need to manage the space, or the user interface, user uh, in, uh, experience that you need to design to make the space work for you and your and customer. So I think it's a really perfect combination of technology solutions, products, and services all together. And the goal, of course, is to manage and reduce the complexity manage and reduce the cost mm -hmm. and risk. Right. And I think this is a win-win combination and win-win formula to ourselves as a technology leader, mm -hmm. as well as to our users and customers. In many cases now where we see a customer come to us at the very beginning of their project, let's say they're working with an architectural partner, they're building out a space. Usually at the very end, it comes to their mind and say, you know, which LED or, you know, which uh, display products or which sound system am I going to, you know, uh, select? Nowadays, we approach to that project at a very early stage with our partners coming from Samsung, from our own professional division, we work together in developing a holistic plan mm. where in our mind made the best solution selection in terms of products and services cater to that customer's needs. Mm -hmm. You've got your very entry level HADO standard to all the way up to what we call the enterprise plus. Mm -hmm. And in between you have different uh, range of products and solutions that are really meeting to your needs. You could have one big office building here in New York City that have space that are suited for the standard solution or you may have a boardroom or an executive briefing room mm -hmm. where you need to communicate or connect with global teams that have more sophisticated functionality that needs to be catered in, mm -hmm. then you will have the solution, what we call is uh, Enterprise Plus. Again, okay. there may be touch screens, there may be different solutions go into it. Uh, it comes with a standard package and we, you can bring your own consultant or call upon one of our system integrators partners can work with you to match your needs with the solution itself. But it is a plug and play. You can add things on top of it, mm -hmm. and it comes with the standard crisp sound and you know crisp visual that comes from the you know Samsung and Harman uh, portfolio of products. Awesome. So with all these conference spaces, huddle spaces, wherever they might be, uh, there's the pain points, you always hear the industry term. So what are some of those specifically? Well, one of the biggest one would be the the, the difficulties in connecting. Mm. You know, again, there is technology in the room meant to share, but what kind of video output do you have on your device? What kind of mobile phone are you carrying? Is the controller and program system up to date to reflect the inputs that are actually cabled to the table? You know, so it's making sure that you have simple to use you know, solutions you know, usually that's requiring solid partners that are gonna know how you're gonna use the space to make sure that they deliver a solution that is easy to use and, and, and bulletproof. Um, but then, you know, again, we've taken it on ourselves to introduce the devices that as themselves solve 
problems and are easy to use. Um, you know, with, with, the, with the release of the flip and all of the promotional, you know, demonstrations and introductory meetings I've had around it, um, you always hear the same sort of feedback back. You know, it's like, this is really easy. This is intuitive. That's, that's good. Um, right, right. And, <laughs> and it's, like, it's like, oh, I, you know, thank you. I was like, it's not an accident. Yeah. You know, like Samsung invests billions of dollars every year to innovate the technologies and the categories that we're, we're playing in. Mm -hmm. And for all the time we've spent on working on that collaboration solution, the flip is the matured perfection of how these spaces are used. So when someone says this is easier, this is, this is all we need in this space. It's like, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what we've been trying for. This is what we, that's why we right. did it. Exactly. Um, you know, and I've had a number of applications. You know, the, I had one specific customer, financial services, credit card processor. Um, they, they sent me a photo of a massive rolling whiteboard that they have, you know, thousands of or in all their offices mm -hmm. with, with handwritten uh, ink notes and post-its pasted to it. And they're like, we want to we go and replicate this digitally in the front of our, in some of our conference rooms. Mm -hmm. And they went through a very long process of, we were, we were showing them very large touch screens cause that's what they were asking us for. And they went through that and then they went through 90 days and Samsung hardware was in there and some of our competitors were in there and it was other software that was driving the actual, the environment. And the feedback was no one liked using a big touch screen in the front of the room. It was too tall for our shorter people to get to the top of the screen. Um, some people felt awkward there. So there was a back to the drawing board. They went with wireless connectivity for screen mirroring to it. Everyone presented from their desks. And now we're showing them the flip as a collaboration accessory to that room. So instead of the 85 inch touch screen that's intimidating and awkward, we now actually went bigger. It's a large screen, a 98 inch screen, not a touch. And then there's a 55 inch, you know, easel mounted Flip. digital flip. It's interesting that Mike used this example because what he described is actually the design-led innovation, what we call this process, mm. this exercise as design thinking workshop. Mm. You know, very perfect. We've got a challenge. We are trying to come up with solution and we thought that this may work and went back to the join board. It did not. And, you know, as you go through this process, that eventually you arrive at a solution that actually meet your demands and needs. Mm -hmm. And we do that now in a very systematic way. And we bring that as a solution services offering to our customers. So um, this uh, firm that you mentioned, a lot of companies in the financial service industry are trying to innovate and we bring technology solutions to them by conducting exercise such as these mm -hmm. bringing different stakeholders bringing our experts making expert demonstrations of products and educating them on potentials of technology and inspire them to really get a hands-on experience with the products themselves and then come up with innovative solution that they are going to actually use what's nice or interesting, exciting, however you want to call it, about being at Samsung and the types of products that we offer is that the applications, people connecting and reviewing details in conference rooms or in huddle spaces is applicable across verticals, financial services, retail, healthcare, corporate, army, government, everyone meets in those ways. Um, and to be at the table of so many of those conversations, uh, we've got a very deep bag of how to solve problems that our customers may have. What are we doing with smart offices? I'm very proud to say that we worked with one of the largest real estate uh, companies in the country to help them to manage their office spaces more effectively and efficiently. And this is really due to a majority of their workforce is mobile. They have visiting um, employees coming from one location to another given that they have limited space to assign to a particular employee and not knowing how long this employee is going to occupy that small desk or that office space, they needed a solution which combines IoT, which combines conferencing, which combines a lot of other uh, analytics solution to identify spaces so they can assign to this employee. And when he or she leave this space, it can automatically be available as an inventory and be assigned to another employee. 
So we, uh, this is a very simple example to give it to you as what we call a smart office. But again, each and every enterprise customers has their unique challenges of managing physical space. And our companies combined have the right solutions in terms of products, in terms of services, in terms of the software and the data analytics to support, create a holistic end-to-end -end solution. Very cool. And then Michael, to you, what's what's what it, what's excites you for the future of this stuff? Really, it's the future of the flip. I mean, it's still so new and so so young, and it's building its own awareness with every model, you know, every one that we ship and get installed in a new customer. Um, but it's been off to tremendous success with its popularity on everyone that's had a chance to see it. You know, it's just exciting to realize how many more people will begin to see it as. We, we place them into universities and, and corporate settings that people become aware of it. Like, why don't we get one of those for this office mm -hmm. is, uh, is exciting because it's, it's, we're seeing all the fruits of our labor of coming up with a solution that's so poignant, mm -hmm. uh, finally being received that way and adopted in the marketplace. So it's excited to watch that go. Thank you so much for coming in, Vivian G from Harman, Michael Halloran from Samsung. And thank you so much for tuning in. To learn more about Samsung's conference technology and Harman partnership, go to samsung.com slash flip.